Holes for the blind. Oh. <laughs> oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Que voulez-vous? C'est la vie. Hi, uh, folks. Bonjour. <laughs> Madam, back here. Good morning to you. This seems like a decent town. Is that so? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you oh, for a minute of your you. time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. There are many on hard times. Many children without fathers. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation Morning, will be sir. acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. today. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. That's a good girl. Madam! Bonjour. Hey, friend. Good morning. Boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this.
Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there is going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack's ransom. For all the money we cost him. 
Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Hey, ma'am. Good evening. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Find him and get the hell out of here. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him.
Now let's find the stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Let's look around where they jump. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Damn, the law's here! Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it! Come on. We best stick to the side. Get down. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here.
get back to Dutch. Get this done. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh. Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Do you know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, 
You go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Talk to you later. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Well, I should get back to it. Loiter and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep, good talking to you. You all right, Charles? Yeah, just taking it all in. Joey's sure good to have a kid back. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Come on. Come on, Let me get you something. Thanks, Mama. Can I say a Y me voy al trotecito mirando por debajejo. Uh -huh. Anyway, I won't disturb Hey, Beth. Mary Beth. We did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. If you say so. It's paradise. An unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. So I got caught doing... Something or other. I was just a kid, 17, 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But, uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope, clean through. 
Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Mr. Bell? Had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's more your style. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm. I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing homeboys home. It's where I want to be. Homeboy. We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. He was born in the world in between the world. Do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad. Just dying for the damage I've done. Make you feel good, make you feel sad. Just the length of time between being born and dying. That's the darling on your knee. And if it be a sun, send the bastard off to sea. With that little ribbon, had him in cold and navy blue. Let him climb the rick and let his daddy climb up you. <laughs> but I think I know what that'll be like. <coughs> and I'm gonna be right at home there. Come on, here and join in. Oh, uh, no, it. I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. You the Suit yourself, you. then. Mr. Smith, can I get you a libation of some kind? I think I'm all right. Well, don't say I didn't know. On offer. board the Heartland stage, pulling You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. It was one bad night. Don't you go riding Abigail up. I wouldn't dream of it. Just let her have this moment. Well, you take care now. Okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. Show off. All opposition, they defies so the people must be all or die. Drivers, when they feel inclined, will have you walking on behind me. On your shoulders, shoulders look a pull, help me out some money to hold. They promise when you're pale, you pay. Hey. You'll have, have to walk you only half the way. Hey, hey. stack with a cunning and laugh. Laugh. You'll have, have to push, push the other hand. Back. They started as a thieving line in 1849. All the they defy, so people must do it all day. Very good. Maybe play something for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. She okay? Clearly not. It's getting very tiresome. Yeah, she seems there pretty worked is. up. Oh. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. 
Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan, my friends, my loved ones. A plan is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world. Vengeance on! We are gonna be free! Free! Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! You're pretty fired up there. We are going to do this, Arthur, and ain't just fun. See, Happy. Remember. It's your fault that boy went missing. It wasn't... I mean, I said that I'm sorry. Out yourself real lucky. By my side, a fire I kindled with cow chips around. My coffee I poured out the ground. I wash in the pool and I wipe on the sand. I carry my wardrobe all on my back. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. All talk, huh? Just <laughs> like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. Is that right? Stop acting like a drunken idiot. I learned it from you! Just calm down.
Oh, God, don't. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> Good times. Well, I can't think of anything else to say. Okay. to see young Jack again. Well, smile then. Wait. Gentlemen, and now our west. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She 
fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. Anyway, talking to folks disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Ah! What are you doing? Shit! Whoa! What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, All right, get after them! Yeah. You picked the wrong girl! so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Let's go for a ride. Do <laughs> you have the first idea what you're getting into? <gasps> what the hell? Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Oh, 
Thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard... All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. We're going for a walk. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. See the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. All right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh. I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? What? I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend.
Good girl. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. 